tell you a jail story when I was in the penitentiary. Yeah, I've been there and done that. Without getting too into details about exactly how it started, we were at the beverage machine in the chow hall, and I had just got out of the hole that morning. I think I was in there about two months. And at the beverage machine, about to do something to get me thrown right back in there. Me and the SA had a dispute over something. Never mind the details. And I don't know if these two looked at each other and signaled to each other, or they both just happened to react at the same time by happenstance. I don't know. But the older SA who was sitting down called the one, he called the one that I was about to fight with. And the older black dude, he said to me, he said, hey. And I don't know if they looked at each other or they both just happened to call us at the same time, but that's what happened. The essay went over to the old essay, and I stood at the machine where the old black dude was because he was already standing up there with, at the machine with us. Right, me, a young hothead, I tell the old man, fuck that, he just respected me. Old man says, what did he say? I said, I don't know. And I didn't. I just knew he said something. Old man said, he speaks English, right? I said, yeah, you heard him. He says, well, when he switched to Spanish on you, then that means he really didn't want a problem. If he wanted a problem, he would have kept speaking English. Two old heads diffusing the situation between you, two young knuckleheads about to fight over some damn milk. Over some milk could have got a bunch of people stabbed up and beat up in there because if we had started fighting his side and my side would have joined in without even knowing what started it. And I bring that up as an example of what it means to have a form of respect for someone. The Democratic Party has that form of respect where they know to disrespect Americans in Spanish. Whereas the Republican Party, they don't care. They'll disrespect the people in plain old English. One thing that the Democratic Party has a healthy respect for is knowing that the citizens, if provoked, can tear this country to pieces. Republicans know that too, but they don't care. And Republicans not caring is how we got Joe. All of that blatant disrespect for nearly four years by Republicans. Even with people out in the streets breaking things, did Republicans try to calm the situation? No. They just continued on in the disrespect. The people, my people are so smart. And you know what else they say about my people? The polls. They say, I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. <laughs> no, they say, Trump, we love you too, man. What did he just say? Never mind his words. What did he just convey to the people? Right, that he knows that they're stupid. What else could he be saying to say, I could commit a blatant crime and you'll still support me? Blatant disrespect of his supporters and his detractors to have said that in front of everybody. You Trump supporters, you're stupid and he told you to your face that he knows you're stupid. Stupid. So stupid that they'll still support him after he sends the stupids down to the Capitol building than after they did to do. I would like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engaged in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. Said, I'll see to it that you all go to jail for doing what I sent you to do. Didn't pardon a single one of them when he could have pardoned them all. But these are the people with the nerve to think that they can question the reasoning of people who supported Joe over Trump. And let me give you an example of the welcoming of disrespect. And this example comes from a Trump supporter. And there's a lot he's going to say here, and I'll look at it piece by piece. For you, come on in here. Come on in. They really picked up 
I mean, later on, it became really interesting. And then you, you had uh, uh, basically libertists and the Rand Paul folks, and it really picked up speed and steam, and it became kind of, you know, interesting. It's very interesting. The left, I don't know, they were kind of showing where they were headed. The Democrats were kind of, oh, Jimmy Carter, Michael Dukaga, just. Bill Clinton kind of jazz things up a little bit eh, later on. And believe me, it was boring. George W. Bush, please, come on. Up till then, the greatest performing president I'd ever seen, I, I ever saw, I should say, was Ronald Reagan. I mean, Ronald Reagan was just, dear God, he was brilliant. And then, Trump. And whether because of Trump, whether this um, happenstance, whether this was timed, I don't know. Everything changed. The rules, the parties, the goals, the thinking, the aspirations, everything. And I got to be so interested and excited in this guy named Trump because he changed everything. He was, he was like the Beatles. He was, I don't know what that, I'm, I'm trying to think of some, some innovative, he changed everything. He said, I'm going to run and I'm going to say what I want and I don't care about the Republicans, I don't care about the Democrats, I'm going to say what I want. When was the last time you ever heard of somebody saying, hey, we're going to go to a Trump rally. You're going to go to what? We're going to go to a political rally. This guy's a superstar. Redefined it. Yeah, Reagan had his excitement, but Trump just blew it apart. And then they said, good, come on in, Trump. Now, do you think, do you think the deep state, and they always were there, but not like today, you think the deep state, the police state, shadow government, intel state, ruling class, whoever you want to call these people, the people who run the show. Do you think they could have changed things? Absolutely. Do you think they could have maybe allowed Hillary to win? They, they, could have, they could have pulled a few levers and absolutely, absolutely. They didn't want her. They wanted him. For four years of complete and total chaos, nothing we're doing now would have been possible without him. Nothing. Chaos is what they welcome. But they don't understand how we got Joe. Chaos. But they think that Trump must go no matter what was unreasonable. They don't think it was logical for us to say that this motherfucker got to go and we don't care who takes his spot. They think that made no sense. Chaos. Hence his non-Spanish speaking for four years straight. Blatant disrespect. Now, let me get off the respect part of this commentary for a second, and we'll go here now. And then they said, good, come on in, Trump. Now, do you think, do you think the deep state, and they always were there, but not like today, you think the deep state, the police state, shadow government, intel state, ruling class, whoever you want to call these people, the people who run the show, do you think they could have changed things? Absolutely. You think they could have maybe allowed Hillary to win? They they could have they could have pulled a few levers and absolutely, absolutely, they didn't want her. They wanted him. For four years of complete and total chaos, nothing we're doing now would have been possible without him. Nothing. They chose him over Hillary. Who is they, Lionel? What, the ones who go by many names, the elite, the 1%, the New World Order, etc., etc. Chose him. Not elected by the voters, but chosen by the uh, shadow government. But this is the one you saw as the legitimate president of the United States and who you said you want to be president again. You complained about Biden being placed in office by way of uh, tampering. While you acknowledge that Trump was placed in office by means 
other than voting. Because what else does they chose him over Hillary mean, Lionel? You know, I can't wait to hear you get on your channel and try to fix what you said. Trump, the one who people try to paint, the one who his supporters try to paint as being outside of the box and against the globalists, but did everything in perfect harmony with the ones that's been looking to enslave the Earth's population. Tweets that ushered in the censorship. Refunding the gain of function that ushered in all of these lockdowns and a lot of other things that he did that lined up with the New World Order agenda. Right, and whoever listening, never mind Lionel, because he's just one among legions of blind Trump supporters. They all know what Trump did. That's why they keep blaming Fauci, China, and Democrats. It's so to make sure that eyes are not on their guy, Trump. I am 50% poison. There it is. There it is. There it is. Don't look at my Trump. Look everywhere else instead. And look at them rushing to the defense of the FBI raid on the Trump place, wherever it was. Just as they've been doing for five years straight. But if they were as bright as they think they are, they would have been come to the conclusion long ago that this dude is too much of a liability to keep supporting. Always in trouble. Lionel is one of the ones who keeps saying that he's not a Republican right-wing conservative. Why? Why does he do that? Why does he keep lying like that? Well, it's because Lionel knows that his audience is as stupid as the crowd that Trump was talking to when he said that he could shoot somebody in broad daylight and people would still support him. Now, I remember a dude named Mama's Boy. He was on a show called Talk Real Solutions one night. And I forget exactly what the discussion was about, but Mama's Boy's exact words was, we don't need no tweeting ass president. Now, what was he saying? What was he speaking against? Well, he was speaking against this lame brained idea that it's a good thing that a president is a troll. Right wing conservative Republicans, I hear them all the time. Yeah, Trump gets people up in their feelings. Yeah, we need Trump. Trump shakes things up. He shakes people up. Idiots who think it's a good thing when a president stirs up the population, but they complain and cry over over a billion dollars in property damages done during the time of George Floyd. America needed a shock and Trump was the right man to give it to him. It's a good thing they think that the president blatantly disrespects people. This is what the morons think. But these are the ones who tell people that we need to uh, put our differences to the side and come together as Americans. People who don't even respect the power of the people.